Steamies. We are going on another adventure with the pickup, pulling an enclosed trailer. This one I did not borrow though. This one we own. Some things have happened to the pickup though since the first video. Number one, we have tinted windows now. Number two, it's licensed. And of course, number three, we're pulling our own trailer. So we'll let you know how we're doing, uh, just like the last video. This trailer is shorter, but there is two bikes in there still. So we will see how it does pulling with gas mileage and stuff. It now has airbags in the back. Um, it's a little bit more set up for pulling now. It still has the six cylinder and we'll see how it does. I also have a tonneau cover now too. So we have done almost 55 miles. 12 miles to the gallon at 46 mile an hour average. We're taking two lanes most of the way. This time, instead of going up to the Black Hills though, we are going down to Las Cruces, New Mexico. Twice the distance. So we'll see how we fare with uh, the gas mileage. Gas prices are up a little bit more. And we'll see how it all turns out. I'll get back with you in about another 100 miles maybe. So a quick update, we're at 160 miles, we're getting 11.6 miles of the gallon. It's windy though, 52 mile an hour, three hours and all that stuff. It's still raining, the weather's been crappy, it's 45 degrees, but everything's still going good. If everybody was wondering what this is up here, T TPMS for the trailer, so I can see what the trailer tires or pressures are and stuff I don't have to worry about it that many miles left 795 miles okay so this is gonna be just a quick update we've got 280 miles 11.6 miles of the gallon which I think is pretty good 57 mile an hour average or whatever what do you think I've been on my phone that's what I think <laughs> 676 miles left Okay, so day two, everybody. We just, we're getting ready to leave here, the Best Western Plus in Dodge City, Kansas. And this bird is making some really cool sounds, but she's got a nest right up there, so she doesn't like me being here. The Ram 1500 with the six cylinder in it and the 12 foot Cargo Mate trailer. Guys, it's riding awesome. It's, it's doing great. I'm getting about 13 miles to the gallon. There are two bikes in there. Um, See modifications I've done to the pickup I haven't done much. I've tinted the windows like I said earlier. I put the tonneau cover on it and I also put some uh, airlift 1000 HD airbags on it and I think that's making all the difference in the world guys. I've got 25 pounds in it and it's riding awesome. Can't even hardly tell there's a trailer back there. There's no bucking or anything from it. So that's working out great um and we'll do another we'll do another update here after a little bit all right so the update i don't know if you can read that or not um 519 miles so far our average has been 9.5 we are in a 28 mile an hour headwind right now and it is absolutely killing the old gas mileage but we're also going 75 mile an hour like i said earlier the airbags make this thing ride awesome I and mean, there's no jerkiness and we are now in Texas so this morning we were in Dodge City went through the rest of Kansas Oklahoma Panhandle and now we are in Texas on our way to Roswell New Mexico <laughs> oh my goodness so day two has been crazy 25 to 35 mile an hour winds that we're driving straight into gusts over 50 it's been brutal ain't it so this is going to be scary 665 miles 8.3 miles to the gallon and look at this we're going to pass this dude but the pickup's been doing great it's not overheating the tranny's not getting hot or anything we're pulling over we're pulling about 4,500 pounds and it's doing good oh man okay so today has been 
looking brutal. As you can see from the sun, it's, it's nice out. The sun is shining. But we've gone, you can't even see that. I'll just tell you. We've gone 800 miles, 7.9 miles to the gallon. Oh my gosh, it's been horrible. We've got 21 miles to get to Roswell and we're done for the day. The pickup did good. We'll see you tomorrow. So it's day three. Yeah, we left Roswell, New Mexico a little bit ago. And we are now pulling the mountains west of Roswell. Um, and I tell you what, this, uh, this six cylinder is impressive going up these mountains. Obviously you're not getting good gas mileage or anything like that, but there's nowhere near as much wind today. So this is gonna be good, but we're getting ready to put it on a diesel pickup right now. Yep. 855 miles, 8.1 miles to the gallon. That's because of yesterday with the 35 mile an hour wind we were heading straight into. And our average is 55 mile an hour. We've been driving for 15 hours and 32 minutes. And we have 158 miles left to go before we get to Las Cruces. But I'll tell you what guys, besides the gas, and I mean, yeah, it's got to shift more but it's still pulling these, I'm speeding. It's still pulling these big hills just fine. Okay, so pickup update. Yeah, we've been pulling a mountain for quite a while. I should have started at the bottom of the mountain, I guess, but we're getting close to the top. You got, I'll show you guys in the mirror maybe, or when we turn here, I'll show you guys how much we've climbed. Oh yeah, you can see it there. That's how much we've climbed. I think it's been pretty much flat out. Still doing the speed limit. Oh yeah. Now you can really. You can see Alan McGordo from here and it's 60 miles away. <laughs> but the pickup, we're getting four miles to the gallon right now, but the speed limit is 65. Got it set at 67 and we're still doing 67 all the way up this mountain. So it's the next day. We're in Las Cruces, New Mexico. We got here last night, but we wanted to unload everything and go ride. Pickup is here. Filthy, filthy, dirty. Um, Not us. <laughs> I think we averaged 10 miles to the gallon for the whole trip, which after the wind and stuff the other day, uh, we're pretty happy with that. 890 some miles to get here. It's been fun. Yeah, it's been fun. It's just the beginning. But the pickup's comfortable to sit in. It pulls good. The airbags that we put on the suspension made it ride amazing. If she would have drove, she would have forgot the trailer was back there. Video, the rest of the stuff from the trip will be motorcycle stuff. So if you guys like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe and hit the bell notification so you know when we load up next. Until next time, everybody stay cool and we will see you on the road.